Hello, in this video, I'm going to introduce you about a vector product. All right, uh, a vector product is a product of two vectors, uh, a product, the cross product of two vectors, which produce another vector quantity. All right, uh, another vector quantity. In, in, uh, instead of scalar product or dot product, if A, vector A dot with vector B, you will produce a scalar quantity. Means that if you do dot product, right, uh, if you're doing dot product, then you are getting another scalar quantity. It's not a vector product, but it's a number. Alright, before I teach you how to do vector product and cross product, we must see some important result from the unit vector of i, j and k. For example, uh, if I have i, j, k, I know that uh, i, j, k, they are always perpendicular to each other because i is the is the unit vector right i is a unit vector for x axis and j represent the unit vector for y axis uh, so and z axis the unit vector will be represent by k right uh, so this each of the vector unit vector i j and k are perpendicular to each other right uh, they are perpendicular to each other it means that the x axis is perpendicular to y and z axis and y axis is perpendicular to x and z and z is perpendicular to y and x right uh, so we can say that uh, based on the result so if we have i cross with j right uh, if you see your hand this is your x axis right x axis i am right hand rule for vector product i cross with j Right, I cross with J. So you are getting a vector out from the board. Right? Uh, I cross with J. So means it's produce K. Right? I cross with J. You will produce a vector which is perpendicular to both I and J. Because Z axis is perpendicular to I and also J. Right? Okay. Same thing here. If I'm going to take uh, J cross with K. Right? Uh, if you see j right this is your j axis cross with k right uh, cross with k so it's just like uh, j cross with k j y go to z right so it is actually anti-clockwise direction right anti-clockwise can you see that uh, so y cross with j j k it were getting a unit vector i so it means that uh, j cross with k you are getting a unit vector i right uh, so another one will be k cross with k cross with i right uh, k cross with i so which is also from this to this which is also a anti clockwise right uh, so means that if you see my hand i use my right hand k k cross right k cross with i k cross with i so it's going up right uh, so means that k cross with i you were getting uh, j so means that you were getting a vector perpendicular k and i so according to the rules of uh, vector product right that i showed before you know that a cross b is not commutative right they are not commutative so they are actually a cross b is not b cross a they are actually negative b cross a right so if you're going to reverse this if i'm going to take j cross with uh, i right i will getting negative k uh, follow this rule here so if a cross b is always equal to negative of b cross a so it means that if you take b a b if you uh, change this become j and i you are getting a negative the same thing also here if you take k cross with j uh, if you reverse these two you are getting negative i right and i cross with k uh, you are getting negative j uh, this is an important result uh, so before i generate before i telling you how to doing cross product right i have to telling you this okay so that you understand the whole thing about the why we do cross product and why we do doing cross product in that way right okay let's see let's this result there is a way of memorizing this okay uh, there is a way of memorizing this i j and k right uh, so i cross j j cross k and k cross i right so if i cross j 
you are getting k right and j cross k you are getting i and k cross i you are getting j right uh, or we say i cross j we're getting k right i cross j we're getting k k cross i uh, k cross i we were getting uh, j right uh, j cross k j cross k we j cross k cross k we're getting i right so if you reverse the process i cross k means anti the this direction here so i cross k you were getting i cross k you were getting negative j right negative j j cross anti anti this arrow here so j cross i you are getting negative k right j cross i getting negative k and k uh, k cross with j right you are getting negative i all right uh, this is the way i uh, memorize this all right okay let's see how to using this important result here in generating the formula for uh, doing cross product all right okay let's see how to doing cross product let's say you have two vector you have vector a which is i name is to be x1 uh, x1 i uh, plus with uh, y1 j plus with uh, z1 k and b to be x2 i plus with y2 j plus with uh, z2 k right and you have two vector right which has x y z component so so with this how we're going to do cross product uh, you know that cross product we can using a cross with b is a product right uh, it's a product between uh, x1 i right uh, so this is an important result so you have to know uh, why you're doing cross product and why you should uh, why can it reach a how, how to generate a formula of cross product right uh, and you cross with x2i right plus with y2j plus with z2k so while you're doing cross product actually uh, cross product is is associative right uh, eh, sorry it's distributive so for example i can say that uh, if i have a cross with b plus c right a cross with b plus c based on the properties i can say that a cross b plus b b cross c right it's just like normal expansion that you do for number so it's also and for vector product it is distributive uh, so you can doing expansion uh, expansion just like you doing for uh, uh, algebra right so it means that x1 with x2 right x1 uh, with x2 as this is a number right number product of these two number x1 x2 so and i cross with i right uh, i cross with i so plus with uh, we have to expand everything here so x1 x2 x1 cross with x2 right uh, uh, sorry y2 multiply with y2 then you have i cross with j uh, you see right i cross with j followed by uh, x1 with sec 2 x1 with sec 2 right and the component vector i cross with k uh, i cross with k right uh, followed by positive right positive of y1 cross with x2 y1 cross with x2 which is j cross i right uh, j cross with i post uh, and y1 cross with y1 j uh, cross with y2 j so means that uh, y1 uh, and y2 j cross j right okay and this with the last term here so will be y1 cross with uh, y1 z2 is a number okay just multiply and the component here j and k we are crossing j 
cross with K. All right. And the last one, okay, uh, so will be Z1, X2, K cross with I, right? K cross with I, positive. Uh, Z1 with Z2, Z1 with Y2, Z1 with Y2, K cross with J, right? K cross with J. And lastly, Z1 and Z2, uh, Z1 and Z2, Z1 and Z2, K cross with K, all right? Uh, K cross with K. Uh, so this is a very difficult way, right? You, you find it to be very difficult in doing cross product. That's why we want to come with an effective way of doing cross product. But before we're doing the effective way, this is the way. Uh, before we generate a, uh, a, a more easy way of finding the cross product. So let's see the result here, right? Uh, let's see the result here. So based on the result here, you have to know that I cross I two parallel vector when two parallel vector is cross right based on the properties all right so if you have two vectors which is parallel vector a and vector a which parallel you will produce a zero vector right uh, refer to the previous video that i talked about the properties of cross product all right uh, based on the definition of cross product so a cross a you are getting zero for example uh, this one i cross i you are getting a zero vector right zero vector and let's see which will go to zero j cross j you were getting zero vector right uh, you were getting zero vector and another one will be k cross k which will be going to be zero vector here all right uh, so now i'm going to simplify again because i know i cross j right uh, try to look at this i cross j I cross J, you are getting K, right? Means that I cross J, you are getting K from the result just now, right? I cross J will be getting K. And I cross K, uh, I cross K, anti direction, right? Anti direction of this. So this is the way I memorize. I cross K, anti the arrow, will be produced negative J, right? For this, you are getting negative J. Uh, so and j cross i right j cross i you see j cross i is anti the arrow right uh, so is counterclockwise right j cross i you are getting negative k uh, for this you are getting negative k this you are getting negative k and j cross k uh, j cross k you follow follow the arrow right clockwise j cross k j cross k you are getting i uh, so you're getting I for this. Okay, slowly you have to create K cross I, right? K cross I, K cross with I. So it means that K cross I, yeah, is positive. Okay, it's, it's actually follow the arrow, right? Clockwise, you are getting J. K cross I, you are getting component J, right? And K cross J, uh, K cross J. Can you see the arrow is supposed to be J cross K? Now you K cross J. So you are getting negative I. Uh, for this, you are getting negative I. So now I have understood uh, why, uh, why this is zero, right? Uh, all this uh, turn to be zero vector, zero vector, zero vector. All right. And all this turn to be K and this turn to be negative J by following this that, uh, important result here. All right. Okay, let's see what we're going to get. Alright, after I rewrite everything, the one that already turned to be zero, I, I just not writing here. Alright, so we left with six term and this is produced by I cross J. Just now I show you I cross J, you are getting K. So I replace the I cross J with K. And the uh, and this you are getting negative. Why there is a negative J? Right? Why there is a negative J just now? Because X1, Z2 just now is uh K cross I. Eh, sorry, is I cross K, right? Just now X1, Z2 is I cross K, right? I cross K. That's why we're getting a negative J. So that's why we have negative J here. So, okay, now I'm going to rearrange this one. Okay, you try to see what is the thing that I already uh, delete from here. And you can see that uh, why is it negative? Uh, so now you, I'm going to group the I component together, right? I'm going to group the Y component together. So it means that uh, Y1, Z2. So I'm going to write the Y1, Z2 
uh, y1 z2 minus with z1 y2 right uh, so i can factor out the i all right uh, it's a i component so i and i i can factorize the i so uh, at the same time for j right for j so i have a uh, negative x1 i can factorize because it's for j you can see that j and j so i can take out the negative here so that it becomes x1 z2 uh, for this positive i take it out to be negative so become uh, z1 x2 j right if you expand negative x1 z2 negative x1 z2 j negative negative positive z1 x2 j right okay now for k lastly so i k uh, you can see that uh, this is y1 x2 right and this is x1 y2 so x1 y2 x1 y2 look at this two term here all right uh, minus with y1 x2 so k right y1 x2 x1 y2 okay after i re rearrange this uh, if you observe carefully this is actually the expression of the expansion of determinant uh, x this is the expression uh, of the expansion of the determinant so which are expanding just like expanding the first row of a uh, expand the core factors from the first row of a uh, matrix right so if you see carefully i can rewrite this to be in this form right uh, in this form so where y1 uh, y1 and this is z2 right y1 z2 uh, this is uh, y uh, z1 right this is y2 if you see just like if i have a b c d uh, how to find the minor for this so it's be a d minus with b c right uh, a d minus with b c so it means that y1 z2 minus with z1 y2 right uh, so for this negative right negative so and j so if you see carefully here will be x1 z1 this will be x2 z2 see carefully x1 x1 z2 x1 z2 minus with negative with bc so x z1 x2 right exactly so and positive uh, for this how about k so if you see carefully this will be x1 uh, y1 x2 y2 right x2 y2 so x1 y2 x1 y2 minus with y1 x2 k ah so now you can see clearly that this is some this is uh, during when you learn matrix right uh, it's actually can written in this form uh, which finally i have reached the formula for cross product all right uh, which is more easy way of finding cross product will be i component j component k so and i am going to write here to be x1 y1 z1 x2 y2 z2 right okay i'm going to show you you see uh, for i right uh, for the minor of i so what is the minor for i so you have to close the first row and the first column right you can see y1 z1 y1 z1 y2 z2 y1 z1 y2 z2 uh, where else for j right you know that according to the core factor matrix this is positive negative positive negative positive negative positive right so the second will be negative j right negative j so what is the minor for j delete the row and the column you have x1 z1 x1 z1 x2 z2 right and for k so delete the row and the column you have x1 y1 x2 y2 right exactly so it means that the easy way of explaining this will be this is a derivation right uh, for those who appreciate mathematics they will know where does this come from right uh, this is for your extra knowledge so it means that for sim for simplify if you have a b uh, a to be in this form b uh, so if you take an a cross with b is actually defined to be this way uh, means that uh, 
you can using this method to calculate the cross product all right in this video i generate the formula for finding the cross product and in the next video i'm going to show you how to using this formula in finding uh, in finding a cross product all right that's all for this video and uh, immediately you see the examples of doing this cross product